Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Folks, I try really hard not to venture into the world of hyperbole, exaggerated rhetoric, maybe sometimes in my thumbnails for the meme, but in terms of my analysis, I try to keep it rational. But when I make a definitive statement like Joe Biden is the biggest liar and his administration is the most dishonest, I believe, in American history, that is not hyperbole. I literally mean that. That is my opinion. And and I personally believe that that is fact as well. And it's moments like these that start to reinforce that belief. Joe Biden as a politician, as a man, has a storied history of total dishonesty, straight up lies. I'll show you guys some examples of that later, at least going in the past, but just in the most recent history over the last two years, or even approaching three years starting from the campaign, when it comes to my coverage of the Biden administration, which I believe has been hundreds of videos at this point, it's been mainly focused on two specific things. First is Joe Biden's brain is melting and the guy has absolutely no idea who he is, where he is, what he's doing, what's going on. In other words, Joe Biden's dementia. And the second has been covering all of the dishonesty. Everything that has come out of this White House, everything that's come out of this administration, at least most of it, has been utterly dishonest. Not just manipulating things slightly, but just straight up bogus, straight up lies. Like I always say, they think you're stupid and that you're just going to buy it. From lies about the border, inflation is transitory, Joe Biden Biden created 6 million jobs when it's just people going back to work. It's nothing but lie after lie after lie after lie. And it's now gotten so bad that Jeff Bezos, owner of Amazon, one of the richest men on the planet, who literally bought the Washington Post to shill Democrats, the guy bought a historic news outlet just so he can trash on Donald Trump and Republicans, well now even that guy has had enough of Joe Biden's lies and has called him out publicly. Folks, just like I said in the previous video that I recorded before this one, the only thing that's going to wake up people who have sided with the Democrats is money, finances. Once Democrat policies start to fail and it starts to affect them in their pocketbook, once it starts to affect their bottom line, or they're faced with the threat of serious tax hikes, well then all of a sudden people are going to start waking up and that is exactly what's going on here. People are getting poorer under this administration, corporations are struggling, whether it's get woke, go broke, or Joe Biden throwing business under a bus to save his political brand. Money talks, and that's the only thing that's going to wake people up. You're a naive little socialist in your 20s, but the moment you start paying taxes is the moment you start waking up to reality. And it seems as though Joe Biden's dishonesty is finally starting to catch up to him. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. But of course, before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm hidden from non-subscribed viewers. And with that, out of the way. Let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so the famous Joe Biden tweet. It's hard to believe this has to be said, but unlike this president, I'll do my job and take responsibility. I won't blame others. I'll never forget the job isn't about me, it's about you. Joe Biden then becomes president and literally blames everybody but himself. Now, after a year and a half of ignoring the inflation crisis, Joe Biden is tasked with tackling inflation. And he said something at his most recent tackling inflation rally or event. He said inflation can be blamed on a couple things. First, he said, inflation is the pandemic's fault. I'm not exactly sure how a pandemic or a novel virus somehow adds trillions of dollars into the American money supply. I mean, I know viruses multiply, but I didn't realize viruses multiply dollar bills. An absolutely stupid statement. The virus didn't print trillions of dollars. These dumbass politicians did. So he blames the pandemic, not the political response to the pandemic. He then blames Vladimir Putin, which happened basically at the the end of the inflation crisis and didn't even have that much of an impact. And then he goes on to blame greedy corporations. Well, it's the corporation's fault. And his genius new messaging strategy, outside of, oh, those ultra mega folk, is utterly dishonest, completely stupid, and getting absolutely slammed. Take a look at this. That's not how it works, boss. Critics pounce on Biden's tweet, suggesting having, quote, corporations pay their fair share would help reduce inflation. Joe Biden writes on Twitter, you want to bring down inflation? Let's make sure the wealth these corporations pay their fair share. And this has to be literally the dumbest tweet on the planet. People rightly responding with this little video right over here. Congratulations, that was one of the stupidest things that I've ever seen anybody post on the internet before. Congratulations, the bar is high cause people post 
lots and lots of stupid things, but your stupid thing was somehow the leader of the pack. And that sentiment is absolutely correct. Somehow Joe Biden thinks you're stupid enough to believe not only that government spending and government money printing is somehow going to reduce inflation, which has been his go-to talking point for the last year, but that taxing corporations that are producing a lot of these goods is going to bring down inflation. Increasing costs for the companies that are producing goods that you consume is going to bring down the cost of goods that you consume. It's literally the most incompetent thing I've ever heard, but what it really is is a a lie and it is such an overt it is such a dishonest statement that even Jeff Bezos owner of left-wing propaganda outlet the Washington Post absolutely slammed Joe Biden take a look at this tweet right over here he quote tweets Joe Biden's post and writes the newly created disinformation board should review this tweet or maybe they need to form a new non sequitur board instead raising corporate taxes is fine to discuss taming inflation is critical to discuss mushing them together is just misdirection. I never thought I'd say this, but Jeff Bezos is absolutely right. This is the most dishonest White House I have ever witnessed. And this comes out literally a couple days after the White House is caught cleaning up yet again another totally embarrassing lie. Quote, they lied and got caught after falsely saying that the jab was not available when Biden entered office. White House admits its claim was inaccurate. The official White House tweeted this, when President Biden took office, millions were unemployed and there was no jab available. In the last 15 months, the economy has created 8.3 million jobs. Oh my God, they're such liars. And the unemployment rate stands at 3.6%, fastest decline in unemployment to start a president's term ever recorded. I mean, such a disgraceful, dishonest lie. They then write, we previously misstated that jabs were unavailable in 2021 of January. We should have said that they were not widely available. I mean, for Pete's sakes, before Joe Biden even assumed the presidency, he had already received the poke. These people are willing to say anything. They're willing to say anything to put blame onto Donald Trump or to put blame on corporations or to put blame on literally anybody but themselves. And they're willing to say anything to save face. And it applies to almost everything. Joe Biden continues to talk about the gas crisis and especially the European gas crisis. All of a sudden, now he agrees with Donald Trump that the EU is too solely reliable on Russian energy. And when questioned a million times, what do you think about about domestic oil production. Should we ramp up domestic oil production? He's claimed endlessly. The reports that you're seeing that we're stopping oil leases are fake news. And guess we're going to ramp up oil production. That's what Biden tells you then. Womp, womp, womp. Biden administration cancels sale of oil and gas lease in Alaska. Lie after lie after lie. And here's this lie right over here. We have an economy on the brink of a great depression. Many people losing their jobs and their homes. Biden's saying he inherited an economy on the brink of a Great Depression. Totally wrong. But Joe Biden is driving the U.S. economy to the brink of another Great Depression. That is a fact check true. Everything this man says is a lie. And the entire premise of his presidency and his presidential campaign was also a lie. Actually, even Elon Musk points that out. Biden's mistake is that he thinks he was elected to transform the country. But actually, everyone just wanted less drama. And it's totally accurate. Biden marketed himself or Biden was elected based on the idea that he was going to be a moderate who was going to calm things down and try to bring the country together. He gets elected and pushes the most radical spending agenda and radical policies the country has ever seen, creates crisis after crisis after crisis, and the compounding effect is becoming unmanageable. And now he's blaming everybody but himself. It's absolutely disgraceful. But again, folks, it's not surprising. Anybody who is paying attention during the 2020 election, anybody who did their research on who Joe Biden is, saw this coming from a mile away. Like I told you guys in the intro, Joe Biden has a storied history of blatant dishonesty, plagiarism, flat out lies. And we'll end this video with Donald Trump's epic July 13th, 2020 campaign ad, which proves that exact point. My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in Northeast Pennsylvania and come up after 12 hours and play football. Eight hours and the ground and then come up and play football it's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand there was no platform upon which they could stand cannot measure the health of our children the health of our children the quality of our education the quality of their education the joy of their play 
for the joy of their play. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship, and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. He is the most dishonest man in America. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you on the next one.